We're going to go ahead and begin class. So wherever you are, go ahead and find a comfortable seated position near the front and midsection of your mat. Maybe you're seated on your shins or maybe you're crisscross applesauce. Take your hands to rest, palms facing up on either thigh. Close your eyes and start to tune in body and breath. Deep sips of air. Moving from your head into your low belly, down this midline of your body. So we set the tone for not only today's class, but this session. I want you to make sure to do a very thorough check in. Extended low back. Shoulders that raise up into your ears as if you're having to hold them up, holding the weight of the world. Maybe your feet feel heavy, rooted, and stuck.
hard feelings to uncomfortable feelings. We make space. muscles of the face soften, the shoulders fall down the back. On your next inhale, I want you to lift your hands up over your head, pull the palms together, and exhale the hands down to the heart, bow the chin into the chest. I, For just a minute, I want you to think about the thing that you want for yourself in this new year. Am I, the word, am the feeling. I, I'm not talking about goals or resolutions. I'm talking about how you want to feel no matter what comes into your stratosphere. Remember a time when you want this feeling. As you inhale, Press your hands up towards the sky, stick them together, open the neck towards the front of the room. And exhale, as you pull the arms open, make some space for the Inhale, the hands stick up one more time. And exhale, spread the fingers, pull the elbows down to either side, open the heart. to what feels good, what feels right, what needs a little extra attention, stretching. This is always how we open. When you're ready, go ahead and find that neutral position once again. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. My knuckles are down because I have an injured wrist, but everyone else, your fingertips should Spread nice and wide. Take an inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, round the spine up towards the sky. Pull the pelvis underneath the knee. And then go ahead and allow the belly to drop as the heart and pelvis rise. Shoulders away from the head. Exhale one vertebrae at a time. Reach the spine up towards the sky with the head hanging. And then inhale, scoop that belly, lift the heart. Last time, exhale, roll into cat pose. Blow all the air out of you. And inhale, scoop the belly, lift the heart and pull the bone down. Find that neutral space. You're going to go ahead and make sure the hands are spread nice and wide, flipping your toes down into the mat, pressing your shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, keep a bend in the knees as you lift the tailbone up towards the sky. This is downward facing dog. Here you can go ahead and pedal out. That reach in the tailbone as you press your hand into the earth, almost like you're pushing the earth away from you. Feel the warmth build in the back of the legs. And when you're ready, go ahead and find stillness. 
press your heart a little closer towards those upper thighs. Nice long line from the top of your head to the base of your tailbone. That is leaning forward. This is ragdoll pose. You can go ahead and take a little rock back and forth if that feels good. Practice letting go of the upper body completely. Are you hanging on to control? Go ahead and release the fingertips down. Heel toe the feet back into hip width. And as you inhale, lift the fingertips to the shins as you reach the heart out in front of you, flat back. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, circle sweep the arms all the way up to the sky, palms come together and exhale them to your heart. Inhale, lift the hands up overhead, your gaze will follow. And exhale, split the hands, dive down, forward fold. Slowly walk the hands out in front of you. And then find a plank pose that feels good, releasing the shins down as well as the tops of the feet. Your heart glances out in front of you. Shoulders pressed away from your ears. Feel the tightening in your core. As you exhale, with the elbows skimming the sides of the body as you come all the way down to the belly and breathe. Hands underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet grounded into the mat. And as you inhale, allow your glutes to relax as you press into the hands ever so slightly and begin to feel the heart away from the mat. Use your core, use your back, but allow the glutes to relax. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, peel all the way up and hover the hands. Exhale, melt forward. Inhale, one last time. Feel the chest. Focus on relaxing the glutes. Hover the hands. Exhale, melt forward. Take your hands again under the shoulders. Flip your toes into the mat if that's available to you. And then try to lift yourself all the way up into a plank. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Remember that bend in the knees, feet hip width apart, aiming for that nice flat line from the top of your head to the base of your tailbone. Breathe. Notice your body. What's shaky, sore. What feels good? Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, relaxing the belly onto the upper thighs. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart reaches forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms all the way up. Palms come together, exhale them to the heart. Inhale, lift hands as one. Exhale, swan dive down. Slowly walk the hands forward in front of you, coming into plank. You can release the shins if that felt good for you, or you can leave the body in this entire plank pose. As you exhale, keeping the elbows to skim the body, flip onto the tops of the feet, and lift your heart for upward facing dog. Exhale, flip the toes, then the tailbone back, keeping that slight bend in the knee, adjusting as you need to, downward facing dog. Down. 
one more time. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards your feet, releasing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart reaches forward, flat back. Exhale, dive down to your feet. Inhale, circle sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the left. Inhale, lift the hands, lift the gaze. And exhale, split the hands, swan dive forward. Walk the hands forward, find your plank pose. Feel the belly pull in, the rib cage wrap around you like a corset. And exhale, elbows skim the body. Flipping onto the tops of the feet, lift your heart. Upward facing dog, feel that big stretch in the belly. And exhale, flip the toes. Then the tailbone back, downward facing dog. As you inhale, go ahead and lift your right toe up towards the sky. Open the hip, single leg dog. And exhale, pull it forward between the hands into a low lunge. The hands frame the foot. The heart glances out in front of you. Taking a big deep breath in. Make sure to ground now the left hand to the inside of that foot and open up into a twist. Breathe. We're gonna take that top hand and we're gonna go ahead and circle it open for one, two, and three. Bring the hand back down to Christ's foot. Step back to plank. And find downward facing dog. Lift the left toe up, open the hip. Exhale, pull that knee forward. Foot comes between the hands. Low lunge. Lift the heart out in front of you. Press through that back straight leg. And then go ahead and plant that right hand on the inside of that foot and open into your chest. Notice what's happening in the back, the hips, the shoulders, what needs attention. We're going to go ahead and find our circle. We're going to come all the way down. And lift. Finding a little bit of Go ahead and take that hand down to the earth, frame the foot, and find downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, right toe lifts, open the hip. Exhale, go ahead and pull that foot through between the hands. This time, taking the left foot, picking it up and walking it in, putting it at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna take the hand to the top of the thigh, lifting your heart out towards that big toe. And then exhale. Tilt the pelvis back a little bit so you feel that stretch to the back of the leg. Honor the muscle with your breath as if you're trying to open it up. Give it some oxygen. Soften it a bit. Breath. Massaging the body. Inhale, lift the hands out in front of you. Come all the way up. Step the feet together, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the hands as one. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Go ahead this time and take your right foot back behind you. Left foot, ground it down. 
gonna go ahead and walk that back foot in again, this time on the other side. So 45 degree angles with the right foot, taking the hands to the tops of the thigh and making sure that the heart is pointed at that big toe. Feel the difference from one side to another. What's going on? And honor your muscles with your breath. Now, these stretches are not always about getting lower. I want you to notice the differences that occur with even just a slight tilt of the pelvis, trying to tilt it back a little bit farther than it already is. You don't have to come all the way down. You can protect the back, keep it nice and flat, and really just work with this minimal range of motion. I'm Inhale, scoop the hands out stars. in front of you, lift up, and, they say stars and exhale, bring the hands together at the heart. Yeah, I know right where you Inhale, are. lift the hands as one, exhale, yeah, dive down, feet. forward fold. They keep asking Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, dive down, way. plant the hands, step back into a pose. Exhale down through chaturanga, elbows in the body. Flip onto the tops of the feet, lift the heart up and down. Exhale, flip the toes like bend the knees as you lift the tailbone up towards the sky. Breathe. Inhale, right toe reaches, open the hips. Exhale, go ahead and bend that knee so that the heel drops towards the opposite. As you exhale, go ahead and pull that knee back forward, set it down, and allow the top of the back foot to cascade into the mat. For the first little bit of this, I want you to keep your heart fully lifted. We're not rotating the hip open, we're squaring them down. Focusing on keeping that knee at the center point of the mat and the stretch focus on the outside of the hip. We don't have to see this As you settle with your breath, stuck until we fall you can come a little bit deeper down. Do though at your own pace. They keep asking how to send your breath outside and adjust as you need. You're finding your mind wandering. Take your breath a little deeper. A little more forceful. Add some sound. Trust me. It'll help ground you a little deeper and right now.
and start to come a little deeper. today very simple we're getting back into it getting back into ourselves so what can we do with what we've been given even if it's a flow that isn't the most exciting it's not what yoga is about Use the body as a metaphor for release, for presence, and exercise that frontal lobe, the area of the mind that's responsible for being more creative, attentive, empathetic, problem solving. shins down into the mat one at a time and allow yourself to come into a seated position for just a beat before you allow the body to completely relax down for final shavasana. Heels relax into the far corners of your mat as you allow your hands to rest, palms facing up at either side. Coming back into your breath. Deep, intentional inhale down into the belly. And using your exhale to relax a little deeper. Take this time just for you. See our reflection in the water. Off the branch at the Huntington. I hopped the fence when I was seventeen. Then I knew what I wanted And when I grow up I'm gonna look up From my phone and see my life And it's gonna be just a lie
take one last deep inhale in through your nose. And exhale. And begin to awaken your body. Maybe give a little wiggle in your fingers, your toes, your shimmy of the shoulders. Give yourself a message that you need to hear. Whatever it might be. Something for the new year. As you feel ready and led, you can go ahead and make your way into a seated position. Begin packing up your mats. I appreciate your presence in class today. Thank you for joining me. Luke will probably be acting as a um, fill-in for me when I can't do certain movements because I have a sprained wrist and there's not a big timeline on healing right now. But I will be here to vocally instruct and do as much with you as I possibly can. And you'll be my partner in crime for anything that needs a showcase up front. If you have suggestions for flows, for songs, for poses you'd like to learn, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I wish you a blessed day. Enlighten me. Seize and honors enlighten you. Namaste. Please take this ride Cause we're